Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time, but I'm finally here with another tutorial, even if I am a little sick, so just ignore that in my voice. Today I'm going to be trying baby boomer nails um, in almond shape with nail forms, and that was suggested by Desi Howe or Desi Loves to Sing. But yeah, hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So for this tutorial you will need your acrylic kit and I just mean like basic stuff like your brushes, um, your acrylic liquid, that sort of thing. Um, you will need some nail forms, some white acrylic powder, some pink acrylic powder and then just a top coat. So just a clear glossy whatever type of top coat you want. Okay so the first thing I've done is I've prepped, filed my nail and put on a nail form. Um, so just making sure it's nice, it's not pointing up to make the nail look unnatural and now I'm just going to go in with a big blob of white acrylic powder. Um, I do notice however much, like however big my powder to um, liquid ratio is, I always tend to get really kind of like watery um, balls which is quite annoying because a lot of people have been telling me like that's not, um, like you need to get thicker balls less watery and it makes it a lot easier and look a lot better but I don't know what's happening I just keep trying and I keep getting really watery ones but yeah if you know how to fix that let me know thanks and so I'm just going to keep molding this trying to get the shape that I want and using the lines as a bit of a guideline I'm trying to get an almond sort of shape um, but obviously this is the first time I've ever done this so I'm not sure how it'll go hopefully it works out well and I'm just going to speed this up so it's not too boring, but you can still see how I'm doing it. Nightmares creep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire So I'm pretty happy with the white. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm doing a fade. So hopefully this will give it a nice fade effect. Oh, I'm losing my voice. And I'm just going to go in with the pink acrylic powder. I think that ball was pretty good. That's probably one of the best balls I've done. <laughs> not too watery. And just being careful not to get it all over my cuticles like people have been mentioning in the comments. Um, but yeah, just trying to make this into a nice fade effect. And hopefully it turns out well. I'll speed this one up a bit too. Okay, so the first thing I noticed about this is that it doesn't really look like much of a fade and I think that's because the colour of the white is super opaque and the pink is almost clear, like I can't, I can barely see any pink in that at all. Um, so I might go try another one and see how we go with that. Okay, so I'm going to try this again and I'm going to see if I can make the line between the white and the pink a little bit smoother so it's more of a fade rather than a big blob of white left in the middle of the pink because it's so clear like I said a second ago. So I'm doing the exact same thing using the exact same materials but I'm going to try a bit of a different technique. So I'm going to speed this one up again um, and I speed the entire thing up, probably won't put any breaks in it and we'll see how it goes when it's done. Sweet heat is a 
Okay, so this one just looks more like a French manicure. That's not very neat, but anyway. Um, and it's also good glitter because that was left in my dappin' dish from last tutorial. Oops. But I'll take these off the forms and give them a file and put top coat on and we'll see how they look after that. Okay, so now it's time for my favourite bit, which is taking these off the forms. I just love it when they peel off so nicely. And I don't know why I'm holding those tweezers, so just ignore that. Ooh, so there's number one and it actually turned out pretty well. Well, the shape of it anyway. I'm just going to go take the other one off and then file these two off camera. Okay, so they've both been filed and I'm not going to lie, like it doesn't look that much like a baby boomer sort of now. But I'm pretty sure it's the best application I've done so far. Like they're not very bumpy. Um... So I'm pretty happy with that and especially like I don't think it was technically my fault. I mean I tried to do fade and I tried different things but I think it might have just been the colours that I had. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a top coat on those two now. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. Um, so they may not be the best baby boomer nails, but I'm pretty happy with the shape, like I said, and pretty happy with my application. Um, but that's just a heads up, like if you're buying this acrylic nail kit and you want to try baby boomer nails, you may have to invest in some other colours. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, don't forget to keep commenting, giving me thumbs up, subscribing and leaving suggestions for more videos and I'm sure to do more soon hopefully. I'll see you next time. Bye!